Hey everybody, Jordan here with Farm Builder, and what we're gonna show you guys today is how we can quickly and easily move a set of pigs on pasture. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna wind up this spool of wire that we have in the inside. These pigs are getting trained to go into the woods, so we put the wire back up to get them oriented to that system. We'll wind the wire up. We have an extra set of nets of these uh, electrified pig nets here. We'll set up our new paddock moving this direction. We'll then open up this net and let the pigs right on over. All right, so the first thing that you need anytime you're putting animals on pasture with nets is a second set of the nets because your first set is containing the animals where they are. You need enough nets to set up their next paddock while they're still in the first paddock's position. So that's why we have an extra set of nets that we can carry around to any of our sets on pasture and be able to get this new place set up. So walking backwards, I'm gonna have this net in my hands, throwing it over to where our existing paddock is we're gonna lay out the new paddock. For those of you who are wondering, this is what we're using. It's a Premier One Pig Quick Fence. This is the 63012. So now that we've laid out our net, what we'll do is go along and set up all four sides, as you can see. And what we're using here is a four net configuration, which if you think about it is the most efficient for your movement because one side of the current paddock is always going to be a side of the new paddock. So every time that we move it, we're only having to move three nets instead of four. set up our four new nets we're pretty much ready to move the pigs in a few things I want to point out to you guys though as you can see we've parked the tractor or whatever it is that you're going to move over your gear you want it to sit inside of your new paddock that way when you open up the line there between the old and the new you can move all your gear over and you never have fence that's open to the rest of the field for your pigs to find and get out of so that's a key thing park your movement vehicle whether it's your truck, your gator, your tractor, park them in the new paddock before you set it up. And then when the pigs and all the gear is moved over, you'll park it in the old paddock for the breakdown. So there is some concern that people raise of will the pigs be afraid to move across a place where the electric fence was. But I found this is more of a feature of training your pigs from when they're young to move from paddock to paddock by the time they're this size or larger, um, it's absolutely no problem. So you'll see here when we take up this net, these guys should run right on over. So with proper training, you can see there was almost no hesitancy on the part of the pigs. They knew what was up when we started putting the first post in the ground and 98 times out of 100, they're ready to move over. Now we'll just move over their shade, feed and water, button them up in the new paddock. We'll be set. He's moving over the shade structure in the water and the feed. Once he's through, we we'll park the machine in the old paddock and then we'll put the net back up and when we have them contained in the new area, they're good to go. Now that we got the pigs moved over, we're basically gonna do the reverse process of what we just did. We're gonna tear down the old paddock, have the nets back on our little mover, and we're ready to go on to the next set. One thing with the nets that you'll need to check every day is your pigs do like to push dirt and things up against the edge if your ground is soft. So a quick walk around every day will uh, add an extra level of insurance to your process that your piggies stay in. So what we're doing now to take up this net, is kind of the reverse process. I'm gonna hold the poles in one hand with the points away and simply walk down the line. Let this net fold up behind me as I go. Now how you carry the nets is a crucial element 
of the ease or difficulty of moving. So you want to keep all your points away from the net, carry it in a very uniform, even stack. What I like to do is put it over my shoulder, lift that net off the ground behind me so it's not going to catch on any sticks or roots. That will add years to the longevity of your nets if you take a few steps to take care of them, don't yank them around on the ground. All right, so one of the best things you can do is take care of the nets. And after a couple of years of dragging nets around and seeing what sticks and roots would do, uh, I came up with an idea for a little rack device that would allow us to put our nets somewhere pretty secure, and then we can pick this up and move it from set to set. So if you have two sets of pigs on your farm, three, five, 25 sets of pigs, all we would ever need is one extra set of nets and we can go across place to place, move the pigs, and then take the old nets across to the next place. So it'll add to your, uh, your cost savings. But the way this thing works is we'd have our bundle of nets that we just broke down from an old paddock. I'm walking up to the device here. I've got them in my hands. And what we're gonna do is cross stack the individual nets. So this one, we have the points going this way. And this one, I'm gonna put them that way. That way it's easy for us to differentiate which one is which. So we made these little poles out of PVC. We can just place this net over the top of it, cradle it right in there, tuck the net up under here, and we are off to the races to the next set, and we don't have to worry about our nets getting caught on stuff and getting torn up. So I hope that helps you guys understand a little bit of the fundamentals of moving pigs in the netting on pasture. Efficiency is a key part of this process. That's why I like to use four nets for the particular setup that you only have to set up three every time you move. So you're theoretically 25% more efficient. But if done right, it's a smooth, easy process. It should take one person maybe 30 minutes or so to do this. Two people should knock it out in 20 minutes. And our movement becomes a very simple process with minimal fuss. And the pigs know what's going on. Everybody at the end of the day is happy. Thanks for stopping by, guys. We'll catch you next time.